All right, guys, in this one, I want to go over a grenade focused Titan build that is insanely good for at clear and is going to let you have infinite grenades anywhere in the game. This build is extremely strong for both end game and normal content and it is very fun to play. But if we just jump right into it, our exotic we're going to be taking is Armamentarium. This is very simple. It just grants an additional grenade. This is going to be really good for managing your cooldowns, letting you have infinite grenades at all times. So speaking of grenades, the main thing we're going to take is Pulse Grenade. Storm Grenade with this would also work very well, but we're going to be taking the aspect touch of thunder so this is basically going to improve all our grenades and the pulse grenade specifically is going to create an onic trace periodically as it damages targets and increase the damage over time again storm grenade also will work very well so after detonating creates a rolling thunder crowd that tracks nearby targets and fire bolts of lightning and foes beneath it whichever one you want to go for i specifically love pulse grenade for this because it does tick damage over time so that lets you eliminate having to run to things like heart of inmost light but heart of inmost light with storm grenade is also very very strong but i like armamentarium with pulse grenade because you can just spam a lot and you generate that ionic trace which gives you ability energy back when you pick it up and what's really cool with this is that while it's pulsing not only is it ticking damage up but every single time it pulses the enemy it generates an ionic trace it's not just the initial pulse so if you throw it on a boss it will constantly give you an ionic trace each time it does damage to that said boss it's very very cool and i definitely think it is really really strong for both at clear and just doing some additional dps now i am also taking knockout so my melees can heal me and make me amplify plus you get two fragment slots instead of jogging out where you only get one and of course i'm taking thunderclap just because i want to live out my anime dreams now also i'm going to be taking thunder crash just so i can get some additional damage on a ball so that room of ads if i need to and then for fragments i'm going to take spark of shock so my arc grenades jolt targets spark of ion so when i defeat a jolt of target it creates an ionic trace spark of discharge so my arc weapon from blows have a chance to create an ionic trace and spark of magnitude so my grenades last longer so with all that combined your pulse grenades will make an ionic trace is due to touch of thunder your jolting targets which then will again make an ionic trace with a jolt target enemy dies so you're getting two ionic traces and then once you're killing enemies with your weapon you're also generating ionic traces and your grenade's going to last even longer which means more tick damage because of touch of thunder where you get more damage the more it ticks so very very good very very strong now for weapons with this build i would recommend arc weapons primarily because you can get amplified and we'll be taking some mods i do like running a arc weapon with demo so i can get my grenades back even more which is really really good pair with a lot of our mods you're going to have infinite uptime on your grenades now for stats i always go 100 resilience my armor on my titan is definitely not my strongest so i'm in 80 but also have 100 discipline those are your two main things so you can survive a lot and you're going to get as much grenade energy as possible all right starting off our main mod is going to be elemental ordinance so defeating combatant with the grenade spawns an elemental well that matches your subclass energy type so now when you kill an enemy with that pulse grenade you're going to be spawning an arc elemental wells and that pulse grenade will also generate you an ionic trace this is going to give you a lot of your ability energy back and let us play into other mods on our build now i am also going to be taking battleful wells so elemental well mods that cause you to spawn elemental wells now stack spawning additional wells for each additional copy of of the mod you have equipped so this essentially means now if i stack my elemental well mod so elemental ornaments i am going to be taking another one i was to generate more elemental wells so now we'll be getting three arc elemental wells and that on it trace that spawns which will give you pretty much all your grenade energy back and then on top of that you also have your demo gun to top it off so literally getting one maybe two kills with this alongside everything else you have your grenade back now, I will also be taking Thoth to Might. So whenever I pick up that Arc Elements well, I will be getting a damage spell for all my Arc weapons. That's why I would recommend an Arc weapon. Not only, again, because you get Amplified, but you also are going to be getting that damage increase, which is going to be really, really good. And then finally, I do take Seeking Wells, just so all those Elemental Wells I make just track to me a lot easier, and I can get all that energy back. So having these Infinite Grenades is going to be very good. You throw it into a room, it's going to just constantly tick damage up, jolt enemies everywhere, and literally can kill an entire room with one grenade. And alongside that, it lasts forever. Or even throw it on a boss, you're gonna constantly tick the damage up, constantly generate Onic Traces. If any enemies are around, it will jolt targets and jolt back to the boss. You do even more damage and you can kind of see how strong this is now for other mods i would recommend taking a harmonic siphon just so you can generate orbs of power with this build since you are going to be using an arc weapon anyway and i like running things like innervation so when i pick up those orbs i will get even more grenade energy this will let you play into the role of having infinite grenades now i do also have linear fusion ammo finders and scavengers since the main things i do run are linear fusions i do have a smg loader but you can absolutely change this out for any of champion mods this season so you can take this into in-game content 
content but this is just some place i have right now like focusing strike so i get class build energy when i cause damage to the melee attack it's not like the strongest thing but it is pretty cool then finally on my class mod i do have lightning strikes twice so after throwing an arcanate you can increase grenade recharge rate for a short time or at final blows extend the duration of this benefit so now on top of everything else that we were already getting for our grenade cooldown rate this is also going to constantly let you have a crown of tempest like effect if you play on a warlock you're just going to get more grenade ability recharge rate which just means more pulse grenades you can have pulse grenades literally everywhere in the room that are jolting targets doing an insane amount of damage and it is very very strong now once again you can take heart of endless light with this build and maybe swap it over something like storm grenade or even if you just want to use heart of endless light full screen that's also still really good i would recommend if you do use heart of endless light to take the brand new class ability thruster because it does have the lowest cooldown rally barricades 32 tower barricades 40 and then thrusters 30 seconds so you can kind of spam heart of him slide a little bit easier with the brand new thing yes you won't have a shield but you can keep up ability generation a lot and heart of him was like will pair well with lightning strikes twice because it will stack and give you a ton of grenade corner rate but if you just want to go a more simple route just throw in your arm materium put some pulse grenades on and just go back to the old ways of destiny one and literally just have double grenades that can just clear out entire rooms and do a bunch of damage to bosses while also constantly feeding you ability regen but that is going to do it for my first arc 3.0 titan build i will have a lot more of these come out in the future so be sure to stick around the channel also we'll have a dim link to this build in the pinned comments below and if you guys did enjoy and want to see more content just like this consider subscribing drop a like and turn those notifications on also if you'd like to join my discord or follow me on any of my socials all of that will be linked in the description as well but just know watching this video is way more than enough every single bit of support from you all is truly appreciated but thank you all so much for watching this one and have a great day peace